Hey y'all, this is Carol Norby. You're at my Stampin' Carol Lots of Crafty Goodness page. I am playing today with a sketch challenge from, um, I think it's Freshly Made Sketches. Usually I do Tuesday morning sketches. It's one of those two. And it was so cool and I wanted to play with some product, or a new product I got in that's not Fun Stamper's Journey or Spellbinder, Sizzix or or um, uh, what was the other blitzy but this is fun so i have to uh, show it to you and so <laughs> and this is my first time using it so I i've watched some videos on it i hope to get it work i hope it works we'll see huh okay i'm gonna flip the phone over hang on okay Let's see if i can get this okay kind of in the middle Okay, so I am using a beautiful stamp set called Beautiful Friendship. This is SS-0643. I think it was a bloom box, but I don't remember. But I stamped it and cut it out. And so I stamped it in, get my papers, Lemongrass. IP-0022, and I'll put these away as I say these so I can clean up my table. Chambray shirt, IP-0153. I'm going to be using that again. And then haystack, IP-0154. As I've said before, this to me is straw. Being as we raised hay for many years in Wyoming, <laughs> that is not the color of haystack. And then I am going to be using chambray shirt paper. So, oops, got to get that away. CS-0145. Uh, black licorice, CS-0003. And whipped cream, which is CS-0040. So i got to show you what I did. I've got more product to show you. I have a piece of whipped cream down. And a stencil and this stencil comes from the wallpaper uh, pack JM-0121 it's got four different colors or four different patterns and I'm using one I'm using this great uh, looks like electric tape but it's not it's wonderful paper tape from fun stampers journey and I don't have the number right now but this is new to me this is a brush that I had purchased I actually got it from Amazon it's called Picket Fence Studios Life Changing Blender Brushes. Now I have all sizes here. So I just got the great the, these big ones in, and the sketch I need to do just kind of has a, a central area across the card uh, done in. So we'll give this a try. We'll just see how well it works. I have seen some wonderful videos on it, so we'll see. Okay. Ooh. This looks interesting. Now I gotta remember that when I get done to wipe off my stencil nicely. And I'll probably use uh wipe this off on a damp rag too. But I just wanted this looks neat. Looks like it's now, you see, I'm not wiping it off on a scrap piece of paper. If you were using our dowel daubers, uh, that is something that you would have to consider because of the way they function. And these are different. So let's see. I'm going to pick this piece up here. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? I want just a little bit more. I'll put this back on here. Just a little bit more. Whoops, I moved. That's not good. Okay, just a little more on the outsides. I think I'm going to really like these brushes. Okay, that's good enough. I will pick this up, move it over here, and quickly use my damp rag and clean it off. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Move that out of the way. I will put my lid back on. Oh, I do like that. I do like that. That is fabulous. 
get my brush wiped down a little bit here too just to get the uh so you may want to consider these brushes these are just really neat hi christine how are you doing today oh that is beautiful so i had already cut my my card base and i cut a piece um, of chambray shirt and i'm going to adhere this get things moved out of the way I have been busy today. I am almost got all my card kits done for Friday morning's Christmas in July class. We are showcasing a particular die. I'll have to show you the die from Spellbinders that I have just fallen in love with. Oops, I can see I got a little ragged there. I need to just get my... That looks a little... There's a little ragged... I put a new blade in my paper trimmer, but I always seem to have just a hint of ragged for some reason. Oh, I do like that. Okay, there's that. And then I'm going to put this on. Doesn't that just set that off? Oh, I do like that. So I'm going to prop this up. I will grab my foam dots, get the right ones here. Okay, and go to the mediums. I love these foam squares. I use generally use the uh, the medium size AD-0085. I like them because I can cut them to the size I want. So I'm going to put these. You'll see, this one's just a little bit bigger than what I want. I should have cut it before I took it off, but I had no idea what I was doing. Like I said, I have been working all morning on my class. I have three cards and a tag and I'm almost done I'm working on the shaker card right now now that's going to be something new for me because I have some a couple of ladies that they are very talented but they are uh, sometimes a little challenged and sometimes they can be a challenge I love them dearly but <laughs> oh my gosh so anyway so i hope work is going well for you christine i see you're just listening you know you can come back later and watch i will have this on uh, youtube also hi judy i hope your your uh, tendon is healing uh probably won't see you at salsa saturday you got a new location that is so cool okay i'm gonna stick this right I have uh, a lady from church wants some birthday cards, feminine birthday cards. And I'm going, that's easy enough to do. Where do I want this? Because I don't want to cover that. That is just absolutely stunning. Maybe right across there. Okay, so then. And this is such an easy card. Um, I think I would say... If you don't have the Picket Fence Studios life-changing blender brushes, you ought to get some. Now I just got to play with them with other ideas uh, because I have such small ones. Use them maybe in our pan pastels. I got to see that this is on straight. So just right about there. Oh, Kidoki, Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. I don't know what else I would do to that right now. I don't think I want to, uh, if I want to add any bling, it's hard to say. Um, maybe, well, we've got the pearls. And, um, oh yeah, I know. Metal, metal pearls. Look at the blue. The, oh, the gold would just set that off because we have so much blue already. Pull that out. Ooh, gold. Oh, that, I, I have to tell you, I am in love with those brushes. I love how that blended so nice. Now, you can check them out on um, Blitzy, and you'd have to go to my website and click on the affiliate link. I would appreciate if you did anyway. I don't recall seeing them on there. But, uh, oh, now i got to figure out where I want to put. I don't want to hide too much of that. 
maybe a couple of there. You know, you do it in odd numbers, and I like three. And then maybe one right there. Okay, there we go. That is done. That is plenty. Isn't that just, I have to say, stunning? <laughs> Oh, anyway, okay, so this card is done. I'm going to flip you back over here. And, um, yeah, that is pretty amazing. As soon as I get my, uh, my last card done, I will have an extra set of four um, of products for my class. I was thinking I had six gals coming Friday. No, I only have five. But... Uh, one takes a kit, so there are six kits, but I made seven kits. So I'm thinking, do I want to take one with me to Salsa? Try to sell it. My kits are $10, and if I have to mail them, then there's, of course, postage. So i got to think about this. So I want to thank you for coming by when I get done here uh, after lunch. I just got a treadmill. A friend gave me her treadmill. Uh, I need to walk more. I am going to see an orthopedic surgeon in two weeks as to what's going on with my knee. Um, but I have noticed if I work out a little bit or walk, the knee does feel much better. So <laughs> I'm sure that's in the cards for part of the like physical therapy or something. My uh, x-rays were very inconclusive. They threw out a bunch of thoughts like osteoarthritis, gout. I'm going, I don't have trouble with my feet. It's just the knee, and it's only when I'm doing stairs. I can walk with no problems, but stairs are painful. So anyway, I want to thank you for coming by. I will have this video on YouTube later today. I will have this card on my blog tomorrow with links to my affiliate sites uh, for you to purchase product if you're so interested and again have a wonderful day thanks for coming by and um, well I won't be having a video Friday I have class Friday so don't think I'll be doing this Friday not unless I take a quickie little live at class but I don't know sometimes I get so involved in class that you know that's not a thought so anyway have a great day y'all thanks for stopping by Bye-bye.